All right, y'all, so first thing, walking in, um, Ohio Ordinance. This is the uh, the bar. This is the gun, I believe, that uh, Bonnie and Clyde got clapped up in. Um, maybe one day your boy can get a, get one of these. This thing fires, I believe, like a 30 op or something, like some crazy, what's the caliber, bro? I don't even know, it's like a 30, it's, a, it's an, I think it's like a 30 Oc 6 couple different versions of it here this one in particular i really do like though i like this one this thing is is wild bro i don't i, don't, I ain't gonna lie i want it i ain't gonna even, i don't even want to pick it up but uh you can see that uh getting chopped up with one of these bonnie and clyde your body is uh it's, your bonnie and died you feel me and this is gonna go for like i said around like seven racks this is the h car it's more like a mo more modernized version of the bar Sexy though. You want one of them, Zaya? Or would you want one of these with the with the with the you know bullet fed? Sit this right at your door. You know what I'm saying? Any intruder alerts? You got you just pull that thing one time and just hold on to it. You know? This is uh I don't know what the particular name of this gun because I know there's a version that's this is the uh, M24 SLR 76 by 51. So it's 308. Whew. Nice. All right, so we're at Bursa. I guess they got some uh, 1911s out. Bursa, uh, Zaya's first pistol. I don't know if they got it over here. Let me see, maybe they do. Ooh. That Thunder 380, it's a new version right here. Okay. Yeah, they got it with the, with the uh, oh, this is 22 right here, 22 on that thing. It's got the firing pin though, unfortunately. But uh, you know, nice company, nice gun, different different types different grips uh Matador then or? yeah okay last year was our first year we've had the company for 17 months okay and from what we started with to where we're at now it's a ton of progress super fast pace and we're we're always looking to to get the next the next big and, thing and correct me if i'm wrong but i know you guys had worked alongside with Brian Nels on the uh, ar9 right. upper and then now you guys have came out with y'all's own yeah, version so the brn9 is what we made for them yeah uh we we changed our aesthetics uh, we don't have that brass deflector on ours we've got the pocketing but it's basically the five inch upper okay or five gotcha. inch barrel and that. the lowers you guys now are putting out that's new right yeah that's the brand new thing so the, 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 what's awesome about the lowers especially right now they're dedicated glock lowers right okay yeah but uh, the Glock lowers full ambi man not a lot of people for the price point 9.99 for the full gun you got a full ambi lower safety selector mag release bolt, bolt release um and it's got that last round bolt hold open gotcha, which gotcha. a lot of a lot of those nine mil pccs don't have that last round bolt hold yeah so you'll end up oh, they have an issue with it That's yeah you'll end up shooting that last round you'll do one of those anticipation dips yeah. right so you're gonna get that m4 feel with that bolt lock into the rear gotcha gotcha right? non-reciprocating charging handle so you don't have to is worry it swappable about, just curious is it is it is it, is it, is it switchable the, the charger it is yeah. okay it looks so, like you can flip so it all out. i gotta do is um if i i show you on this is all i gotta do is slide this cam pin down okay you don't gotta do it you, yeah slide okay. this cam pin down take that out release the tension of the spring off of this this will slide down to this little hole i'll take it out i'll put it in slide it forward put it Got back you. in and i'm good yeah to go. and i and i like it's non reciprocating because for some reason when, when it's like this i like to rest my hands on that absolutely like it's man. another like it just locks in yeah yeah and, and especially for these shorter ones yeah stop there's not, not a going. lot of real estate on yeah. there yeah. that's why we came out with this this one's printed but the ones that will be for production will be uh aluminum okay so this will bolt onto there and give you a little bit more real estate Got to you. get that forward grip and then also more mounting options and you guys are based up san antonio okay. that's right san antonio got you and i seen this one so this is not y'all this is another lower so or what we're illustrating seen, here oh is this is a hk yeah well we're i've seen here. mags before so tell me what the common trend is here you see this upper with the hk this upper with a cz yeah that upper with a colt so this upper will run all of these mags without having to do anything okay and if you don't have a nine mil lower we got you, bro. All you got oh. to get an endo mag, got throw you. it in yep. your, your regular M4 lower, yep. and you're running a nine mil. Yep. I like that. This this is this really is our nice. 16 inch barrel with I that, like that, that yeah. earth on there. Yeah, I have a couple endos, so yeah, man. with that. So super versatile, super super modular. 
You're Got not it. restricted to one magazine. It's gonna run all those mags. That's good. And last bolt on all or uh, on Glock right now with Glock. our lower. Got yeah. you, got you, got you. Well, all right, definitely uh check them out. Uh Matador Arms on IG is the same thing, correct? Am, am I saying I'm sure I'm Matador, Matador, yeah. Matador, Matador, Matador. Matador and uh follow them on Instagram, also on their website as well. And you know, maybe down the road we could do some some content. I'd love to try one of them out if you know. I'd love to have you, yeah, brother. Sure. Thanks for coming out. No I appreciate it, brother. No problem, no problem, man. Yep. All right, y'all. So we are actually in the Venetian side now, and this is where all the gun companies are at all the legitimate we're actually gonna stop at Walter real quick and go check them out but this is where you got Walter um, Beretta Canic Century Arms PSA everybody's here so we're in the main portion of the facility now so we're gonna go check out that definitely gonna go check out PSA today and uh, a few others so let's uh, keep it moving let's go so maximum defense definitely has been a company that I've liked for quite some time. Um, definitely would like to possibly review it on the channel. They make a lot of awesome firearms in my opinion. 300 Blackout, 556, 762x39, um, and, and a nice PDW platform. And this uh, suppressor itself is is wild. This is the PX, uh, PDX SD. I believe this is the, the newer version. We'll probably uh, come out later and talk to somebody from here and kind of figure out more about it. But they do have a very nice line of artillery, you know, 5.56. Five, and I believe this is all their new stuff right here, MDX. All right, so we were at the Walther Arms booth, and there's a lot of people here right now, but they did reveal the brand new PDP steel frame and, of course, the match. I had the polymer version of the new PDP Match Pro steel frame, polymer, and then, of course, the steel frame compact and this is it right here actually let me see if i can get it out this thing is a beauty so this is in the compact this is with their duty trigger i uh i, I like it as is i have no issue but i would love to see them put this with the performance trigger as well so they got right here this is the full size version with the duty trigger so you got duty you got full size my bad and a compact both duty triggers and then oh wow I didn't see this one. This is the steel frame, but this was like another, a whole other grip. So this one is a a bad boy right here. And I think they got the match. Let me see the match with the uh, polymer. Maybe not. We're real nice, but we're gonna actually get an interview a little later on, sometime with Cody once we can get uh, get a hold of him. He's probably somewhere around here, so we'll find him a little bit later. Of course, I love this guy. Personally, own this one. I love it. The AP5. Century Arms, great job. I don't know what this is. This is a AP5 Luger. It's like a new type of magazine. But of course, you also got Canic, the SF rival. I've been told, let me just see this for myself. Hopefully I can see this myself. I've been told about the, the trigger. You guys have been asking me to review up here, you know, a Canic rival very soon. Um, I know they also have a steel frame, I believe, too. Version. Over here, it's over here. So here's the rival steel frame. Sooner than later, we will be seeing some canics pop up on the channel. I would definitely like to see it. You guys have been asking for it, so we're definitely going to make that happen. All right, y'all. So we are at Leapers right now. I got my man Kenneth in the building, and I wanted to talk specifically on you guys' new monolithic rail. And Kenneth actually said you designed the, the K version. Or you create so I can't take all of the credit. The standard version was already made. I just changed some cuts and some fixed string for the K model. Okay. But yeah, I was the one but who you worked were involved out. in it at least. I was the one who worked on and the K model and the modeling. I I saw it, fell in love with it. I own an AP5. This one in particular, I actually have one of these on the way. Actually at my house now. So you guys will be seeing a video on it very soon. Um, I know that there were some slight changes to make the the slot. Uh, I think the charging handle more open or something. But these are available now, right? Yep, these are available now. Yeah, the we did find problem with the charging handle slot uh, we just opened it up a little one the K model had already done that in the first place but yeah we, we have made that change in a modification and this is a not just a forearm rail this goes all the way on the top of the actual uh, Picatinny as well right extends all the way so I'll take it off so how it works it's it's basically like a, a standard claw mount for a, for a tick Picatinny uh, four locking lugs two on each side with the bolts on the top to pull the wedge up and lock it into place. So these right here is what's holding it onto the weapon. 
These two screws are just holding the bottom piece onto the top. So I, I have, like I said, I have this and I have the uh, AP5 that has the um, the regular basic pic uh, Picatinny top. Is that the same system that's being utilized? There's, there's little dimples underneath here. Is that what's utilizing it? So, what is it? So those, those dimples are, are being, what I'm talking about. Being utilized, okay, got so it. So these two uh, pieces on the side, yeah. these are actually wedges. Okay. So you put oh, those, you put those wedges in there and those bolts pull it up into it. Got you, got you, got you. And what is the MSRP on this? I think it's like two something and then I was wondering with the K. If you don't have it off the top of your head, we'll throw it up on the screen. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm but this one's, is it cheaper though? Or is it the same price? I'm just wondering uh, because it's shorter. Or? I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be the same price. It is shorter, but it does involve the same amount of machining, sadly. Got you, got you. A little bit more because it's got this special little cut there, but. I like it though. Um, it allows you to put way more attachments on your entire gun. One of the things I didn't like about my MP5, I like the full rail system now, you know, and you can still utilize your irons because yep. it stops, it goes around that. So so you have all those accessories and then you also have all this m -lock furniture now that you can add on to it. So I definitely like what you guys did here. Um, and I wanted to, to talk to you guys directly about it because when I get home, I'm putting it on mine and I'm going to be doing a video on that ASAP. And uh, nice to meet you. You as well. Some, some credit of creating this, not all, but some credit. That's good enough for me. So uh, yeah, leapers. All right, man. So we are here at Keltec with my man Chris and we got here the brand new. It's a sub 2000 Gen three right yep. correct and this uh is well i know you guys revealed it recently is this is it not but now it's out right was the day yep, the day we started shipping them january 1st january 1st okay mm -hmm. so local dealers something like that maybe out there and uh i guess they've probably seen it from this the imagery but i like to i guess demonstrate some of the differences from the gen 2 to the gen 3 i know one is that twist mechanism yep. that we have an optic previously you cannot have that there no, you right? could not so you want you could do the honors and let him all right so like he said a lot of you are familiar with the Gen 2 that we had, but Gen 3 has a lot of the stuff that you wanted fixed, we fix. So we listen, we learn, and we do. So as you can see, pull down on the trigger guard just like you used to. One of the cool things as he was saying, you can rotate now, locks it in the M-lock slot. Now you got it with optics, can. You see with a foregrip and flashlight on there, ready to rock, goes in your pack. Push in on the buffer in the back, pops it right up. Right back in battery, good to go. Glock mags as the good Lord intended. We will be coming out with our multi-mag variant later in the year, so you can do Smith & Wesson, Beretta, CZ, Canix, yeah. SIG, any of those mags. Has a lot of the same accessories and functions you're used to. Half 28 threaded barrel, full length pick rail on top, M-lock slots, we molded in a shell deflector. And one of the nicest things is we upgraded the aluminum trigger and an upgraded spring kit from the factory. So now you're getting a way better trigger from the factory than you ever had before. Gotcha. Oversized charging handle, Lightened operating systems are easier to operate for women and children if taking the family out or just going out to shoot. Also has um, a buffer in the back now as well, so a little bit less recoil. I know it's only nine mil, but shit anything else. So I, I shoot them in competition, so. And the three position adjustable stock. And uh, you changed also the, I think you maybe mentioned the handguard is slightly different. Yep, a little bit longer on there. Yeah. None of the front, the sights on it. And uh, so you can get out there, get a lot better grab on it and everything else yeah. whenever you're shooting. So. I know the Gen 1 had no M-lock, right? The Gen no 2 had lock. some M-lock. Mm -hmm. Is there more? or There's a little bit more. A little bit more slots, right? Okay. Lo slightly longer handguard without okay. having the sights on there. Okay, cool, cool. And what is the MSRP on this one? Just under 500 at 495 Okay. And it's called, the uh, that mechanism, is it, is it the switchback? Or what was it called? That, well, we just call it like a, a cam system or the fold and twist. Fold and twist, <laughs> my bad, yeah, yeah. So. Bad. Then, and uh, maybe I'm asking too much here, but is it, uh, I've seen the comments, 10 millimeter, is that? Is that <laughs> uh, we got some new calibers coming out, nothing definitive nothing, yet. Okay, but it's been, it's, th it's thought about, right? That's definitely the number one most asked yeah, for. That would be, uh, that in 10 or 45 would be mm -hmm. nice, you know. I like this gun, it's definitely compact, that mechanism is good, and uh, I, I've seen it shoot pretty well suppressed. I mean, it's nine millimeter, it does, it does what it needs to do. Yeah, right after we get back and from the show. And you listen to people, you yeah. know what I mean? Listen, okay. optic was one of the main issues fixed. Right when we get back from this, I got one coming out to you. So okay, for sure. So he's here, coming soon, coming soon. But you had something on the table that was wicked. Um, yes. This is still uh, very big, but this is just something that everybody's been asking for this from you guys, kind of in a way, like seeing something like this. So this is actually not even anything we did. Yeah. So this is our CP33. A lot of you know. 
had it out for years now, 33 round, 22 long rifle, but just released this week, Ferrotech came out with their like MP7 kit for it. Okay. So as you can see, full aluminum uh, monolithic upper right there. You have your, it'll have a top uh, upper body, your lower grip with has M-lock slots all over it. Comes with the extended magazines that make them into 50 round mags. <laughs> And you have your brace on this one, but they also have a stock option if you want to SVR yeah. it. It's collapsible, so you can pull it in. Easy to stow. Still have your threaded barrel if you want to throw your can. Any kind of comps or anything like that on. Pulls out. Easy, ready to rock. 22, so you can shoot this all day. You ain't got to worry about spending a dollar every single round. And the fact that you guys are playing with it means that y'all y'all are pretty confident in it. Because it's not oh, yeah. Feral Tech. And they make good stuff. I got some of their plates for like my Beretta, so they mm -hmm. make some really good stuff. And uh, so are these available now too? Yeah, they just start shipping this week. Wow. They're up on their website already. Well, you might. I think he told me MSRP is <laughs> right around 300. So. I've been already like gonna get it to do that, like that poor man, my poor man mm -hmm. MP7, but this just threw a little bit more spice on it. It just gives it more chunk. And then also you got some more real estate. Mm -hmm. Really nice overall. Bet. Ooh. I appreciate you, Chris, man. Thank, Thank you, man. you, man. Yes, appreciate it. And uh, come through Caltech. Y'all uh, are based out of Florida, right? Where, where part of Florida exactly? Cocoa Beach Cocoa area, Beach. Okay. right? Just a little Smooth. bit north of the, or to the west of that, but. Okay. Yeah, good company. Um, my well, my second shotgun was from you guys. My first one was like a damn hunting rifle, but KSG 12 <laughs> gauge was my go-to, my bullpup, and uh, it's always been good. You guys have been killing it in the shotgun game, but seeing y'all come out and do different things with nine millimeter, 22, also awesome. And the 5.7, uh, what was, what's the name of that one, the 5.7 one? So we had the P50, which is the pistol, yeah. the R50, which is the rifle, and now we just also Defender. released the Defender, Defender which is yeah. the P50 with the rifle stock. Yeah, line. okay, yeah. Definitely another one to check out as well. And that one was in Call of Duty recently. <laughs> was it? Yeah, it was in Call of Duty. I didn't even know. Yeah, I think it was in the last Call of Duty, that one, so. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty cool. So there's a company called Rev Arms and Custom Smith Manufacturing. They both make 19, 13 mounts in the back. So I have, on my P50, I have one SBR, then I have one that's braced. Okay. And it's pretty cool putting the side folding stock yeah, on it. Yeah, so. I, well, I saw you, you had your video, mm -hmm. that's why I saw you uh, out there shooting it on your IG. Mm -hmm. So definitely one, I, I, I would like to, see that one out with a stock at the end of the day. I don't, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's, it's non-existent recoil, right? Oh yeah, yeah nine. Five, seven, yeah. So I appreciate you once again, man. Yeah, Thank man. you, man. Yep. Stay tuned. You'll see this, you know, very soon on the channel and uh, it's out. It's out now, finally, officially. So we are um, at the uh, legendary HK where majority of these weapons are unable to be acquired, but are beautiful to look at in particular here. The uh, Goldilocks Unicorn MP7, the gun that uh, we've been waiting for for years to uh, be released to us, but as yet came out, unfortunately, but it's all good. Uh, seeing it right now is good enough. And then, of course, the um, UMP, which you can get, uh, you can't get this particular one, but you, of course, I think you can get it like Tommy built or something like that customized, but of course, a beautiful piece of artillery from HK themselves as well. Um, let me see, this one in particular is, which one is this one? This is the, oh, MP781, MP782. Shoots a 4.6 by 30, so got some dope pieces there. Over on this side, um, some more Goldilocks guns. I believe this is the M27, the M27. You got the HK416 team and the Big Daddy M110A1. A lot of dope stuff over here. I believe over there we got some 416s, but there's tons of people over here. We'll probably have to come back and uh, check them out, but yeah, Zay, you can get close up on that HK417 in there. These are all Goldilocks guns, unicorn guns, guns you cannot attain, guns that you will never have in your lifetime. Uh, I do have something, uh, uh, I try to build out my own little version of the 416, and uh, it's not uh, at the best look, but it's pretty close, pretty close. A lot of beautiful guns here, a lot of beautiful guns. All right, y'all, so we are at Smith & Wesson, and if you guys don't know, they just dropped the brand new Model 1854. Um, this is a, uh, well, not brand new, it's, I guess, being brought back. Um, the lever action from uh, Smith & Wesson, and it is in, I believe, uh, 44 Magnum. Very, very nice. They have a special, a special edition version as well. You got Picatinny though, real nice. 
and these are I don't know if he's coming out sooner or later but this is a special edition version and of course the model 85 so flat trigger large loop lever removable magazine tube nine rounds 19.544 Remington mag oh there's some more right here as well threaded barrel threaded barrel as well got that shiny wood grain on it it's probably gonna be out of my price range unfortunately I'm gonna be honest but you can still look at it I hope I can pick this one up oh yeah real nice flat trigger Look at, that, look at that shine. Look at that gloss. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, y'all, we're at Mossberg, and I wanted to check out the 590 retrograde series. I've been kind of eyeing it for quite some time. I really do like this particular series. Of course, it got that, that old school look, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, this that old school, you know, get out my front yard type of board, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you can't cock it, unfortunately. Oh, maybe you can. Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You got the heat shield on there. Really nice, really nice. So, nice like trench gun. And they have them in different styles. This one. I think one is like a 18 inch barrel, 20, 18.5. Uh, you got 18.5. And no heat shield, heat shield. And then I believe this one is a 20 incher. And then if you want to get a little bit modern, a little bit modern with it, you of course have the 590 Magpul. So, I mean, look at that. Got that dumper on that boy. That pistol, that one-hander right here, that one, that Billy Bob Thornton right here. Now this that this that really this is that like that that uh that Terminator. All right, y'all, so we're at Taurus. We're actually going to meet up with Caleb on Friday to actually talk more about this, but this is a part of the new executive grade that they got here um, in 38 Special. I'm seeing uh, some 45 Colt. Um, you also have Hammerless, which is double action only, and then, of course, you have the single action, double action. Very, very nice, and um, I'd say uh, definitely uh, this upgrade from the wood grain, the finish, and the overall feel. So we're going to actually come back on Friday, and we'll get more... Uh, breakdown of everything that's being brought out here from Taurus and they also I believe have some new striker fires that are also hitting the shelves as well so stay tuned for that on Friday um, a dedicated video and also a part of shot show as well so stay tuned for Taurus salute to Taurus out of Georgia by the way so we're in Benelli right now I just wanted to swing by and take, say, say hello to the M2 and M4 the official M2s and M4s Benelli's in the building um, unfortunately I was unable to acquire one of these bad boys but i did get the cousin the uh the beretta 1301 but um i mean these guns speak for themselves at the end of the day the pedigree behind them how uh, you know they're awesome guns unfortunately i'm just poor and i can't only afford the clone version but maybe one day over here we got some more with these so those are some m4s as well Ooh wee. moving on all right, y'all. So we we walking down to the to the booth. This is the booth that a lot of people have been anticipating, and we've been a strong arm our way strong strong arm our way up in this thing. Okay, we got here Palmetto State Armory. Now they recently just did their concept guns of all the guns that they got coming out right now, and uh, you got one right here in particular. This is uh, the PSA 5.7, um, is it X or what was it? X5.7, which is built off of their 5.7 rock, but it's kind of, you can see what it's it's doing, man. It's uh, shooting the actual 5.7 round, and um, concept gun that they're voting on, but I kind of think we know where number one, we know what number, there's no reason to even put this one on that voting roster, in my opinion, you know. That Jackal either. I think the Jackal, I think the Jackal in that was there's no reason to put on there because I've been as soon as the, I already I got I was one of the first people that got the, the, the 10.5 uh, pistol when it came out and I already knew that that was the future for you guys but um you got the, the, the you got a couple of their concept guns over here we're gonna get some more actual interview with them one-on-one -on -one in a couple of days but we will showcase and just show some of the guns that they got coming out so let's just go look so over here we got some of their concepts which is their upcoming potential uh uh, saber bolt action guns which i'm really looking forward to they have it in wood i mean they got their own chassis systems you got it in pistol configuration so we're going to probably be seeing this in 300 blackout 308 everything possible bro like if these companies are not going to make it 
Palmetto State Army is going to make it. Um, we got some patches over here too, you know. My man Kev grabbing patchwork over here. I don't know if there's any pins, but yeah. Keep moving along over here. We got, uh, this is their brand new 101 A1. They recently dropped as well. And this is one that I actually want to see firsthand. This is their Sabre Enhanced M4. So this is this, this right here. This is nice. Got the Hodge rail. I think they got the, they're like their brand new claw in here. Real nice trigger. This is definitely one I think they're gonna be pulling out pretty soon, so stay tuned on that. Another one of their uh, guns that have been kind of Goldilocks, man. These things sell out all the time. But this is the uh, the Mark 12 uh, Motto. Mod Zero, my bad. I've been trying to get my hands on these for a minute, but they be just selling out like hotcakes. We got over here some more of, uh, seeing these are all seem like to be kind of guns that have been released. Got some more bolt action and a potential uh, concept of a shotgun that they got going on. So we got the shotguns also coming out. There's another, there's some bolt actions over here, same thing, but big, big, big things coming for Palmetto. So we're gonna actually, like I said, follow up on that. My bad, also behind here, you got this uh, STG. It's crazy. So we are here right now. So this is the brand new Jackal. They're going to be having the 9mm, the bullpup concept, the Oakland, and the 5.56 based off the, uh, this is off the uh, Jackal upper with a brand new lower that they're making out here. You got a 300 blackout Jackal, which has already kind of been out. And I think this as well. This is a Soviet, okay, Soviet Arms AK-101. So we've seen a lot of these already be out. The Vulcan, the Volk, Vuk which is a 5.56, five, but it's based off of a, I forgot that it's based off another gun, I believe a Russian gun, but Jackal 308. I mean, ACR, SCAR, uh, Spear, it's got his competition, all right. It's a good thumbnail snap right there, Zaya. Yeah, man, this is gonna be crazy. I, I, I definitely want to see this. I like it too, the fact that they went with the 13.7, so it's pin and welded to 16. So there will be, a, like, this is it. You know, I think the spear got a 13 inch barrel, but they don't have pin and welded, so you gotta, it's a pistol. This is a full on rifle, pinned and welded. It looks awesome. And coming out the box, you got a very nice compact 308, but also rifle. You don't have to go worry about getting another stamp for it. Um, yeah. That's uh, the PSA right there. So we have here the uh, brand new pistol thermal red dot. What's the name of this? What was the concept name of it? That's going to be the DPS. The DPS? Uh, thermal. I don't know if you can see this, man. The, yeah. the dot's on, but the... But it's yeah, not. so then it's kind of weird. This has two batteries. One to power the dot, and another to power to uh, another battery to power up the image. Gotcha. Well, it's just a concept right now. <laughs> yeah, so exactly. Oh, yeah, but, the battery just died. Okay, it's, damn. Well, we'll come back. We'll come back though. We'll come back tomorrow. I'm gonna get like more. I might get you or someone if if, if you're down to do, like an interview or oh, yeah, break have, down everything. We do have a setup of like one of our guys who can schedule into like okay. like an interview like that. Okay, cool. Like, actual like a, a better working version maybe. Bet, bet. Like, Let's do that. Definitely, definitely. All right, cool. We'll stay too. All right, y'all. So we're walking into Beretta right now. Uh, there's a couple guns here. I'm not gonna lie. That I gotta see like first and foremost as far as maybe getting our interview. Maybe that's something down the pipeline or something I can find to talk about but I did want to see these first off the back the Tomcat 30x now I remember hearing that these were being discontinued these are the 30x's so I'm guessing that they're making like a new version this is the new version of the Tomcat but little pocket little pocket boy you know what I'm saying little slip in the pocket one to keep it moving you got threaded barrels and all that by the way too really nice you also got the 90 GTS very lovely very lovely like right there as well and um moving on we have the cheetah and as far as like from what i've seen that was kind of new coming in from beretta was of course their new bolt action rifle which is the brx1 which is actually uh not brand new but is now being brought over to the u.s and it's a very nice hunting rifle for the most part but they're gonna be bringing these out very very soon there's also some attachments that they're gonna be i guess utilizing uh P mags with these so you're gonna see a lot of different options coming out here with this one down the line it is a uh oh this one's the bolts out it is a uh, straight bolt than uh your typical different type but there's so many people right here so i don't want to like disturb anybody but it's a straight pull instead of your typical angle here we go this is what i was trying to look for 
So this is their PX Storm. They actually got a PX Storm. Nope. I thought there's a PX Storm, but they got one also in collaboration with uh, Langdon Tactical, but this is not the one. Is this the one? No, nah, this isn't the one. Real nice, though. I honestly might pick this one up. I, I kind of... Oh, this is Langdon Tactical. This is the Langdon Tactical one. I really like this one a lot. It is expensive, though. It's pretty expensive. I ain't even gonna cap. Pretty damn expensive for this one. Really lovely, though. I think these are all the Langdon Tacticals. So we got those um, wrapped around. I'm wondering, I'm trying to see if they have any of their shotguns. I don't see any of their shotguns though. Well, the 1301s, oh, they're over here, okay. This is their brand new 1301, or this is the A300s, my bad. The A300s, they just recently dropped their 1301 Mod 2s, which are over there. So this is the brand new 1301 Mod 2 that they recently dropped. You guys may know I recently picked up a, the original 1301, still love it, you know? But they added onto the uh, handguard M locks now, by the way. They also changed out the feeding mechanism. I think they also, I think they made it slightly did a difference on the knob here. This thing comes with the JK Armament suppressor. The trigger is also, I feel like it's different too, a flat face trigger. They got it in this, also in this stock mechanism. This is from, I believe, from Chisel. Very good company. If I can get this like in a folder, yeah, this might be uh, this might be him. This might be him right here. Some more ninety twos. Is this the uh, the squall? The squall okay, the squaller. And right over there is the swallow and all of its maybe brothers. Okay, let me check them out too. So that was the squaller. Some more squallers, different colors. That triggers crazy on a Beretta. So yes, we're at Springfield Army. We're actually going to be probably doing a more dedicated review, but. They do have something here, which I was going to be told was an Easter egg, <laughs> the SA-16A2. And you know Springfield is known for, you know, bringing out those OGs like the M1A, um, 1911s. And now we have a potential uh, SA-16A2 coming out. It's just coming soon up here, so we'll have to wait and see about this bad boy. So stay tuned for that coming soon to a theater near you. Sorry for this ending out of nowhere, guys, but that was day one of SHOT Show. Um, we're headed to day two right now, so continue on, and I'll see y'all in the next one, all right? Let's get in.